If you are an ambitious person, you probably always want to be around like-minded people in a club or a community. Elon Musk, being one of the most ambitious people in the world, is looking to build his completely insane paradise city right by the new Tesla Gigafactory, where everything will be similar to what you have only seen in movies. So, how exactly is he going to make this happen? Well, continue watching. And before we start the video, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on all Tesla news. As a part of that massive plan, Elon Musk had Tesla applied for expansion permission for its Gigafactory in Austin, Texas. This application requests approval from the city of Austin for a proposal to increase the manufacturing space by 500,000 square feet. We were beginning to wonder why there was a need for an expansion, seeing that the Gigafactory was originally a vast property. Thankfully, Elon Musk disclosed the plans by saying, Ecological paradise plans from the south portion of Giga Texas to the river looking great. However, we must first get the factory financially on its feet. Musk initially unveiled his aspirations to build an ecological paradise at Giga Texas when Tesla picked the city of Austin for its new Gigafactory site in 2020. Back then, Musk disclosed the design of the Giga Texas Natural Paradise during the 2020 earnings call saying, So, we're really going to have a boardwalk, where there will be a hiking biking track. It will essentially be an ecological paradise, with birds on the trees, butterflies, and fish in the stream. It will be available to the public. So it's not closed, and it's just Tesla. Creating a natural environment across a vast stretch of land at Giga Texas should not be difficult for Tesla given its proximity to the Colorado River and lots of water. However, Elon Musk claims that the ecological utopia will not be built until the Gigafactory earns enough cash to be financially self-sustaining. Musk said in subsequent tweets that the Giga Texas natural paradise would be available to the public and that the boardwalk with facilities would be extended to downtown Austin. Area from South Giga to River really will be next level great and open to the public. Musk said, Long-term goal is a boardwalk with amenities that goes alto downtown Austin so you can walk, bike, or kayak. Musk revealed further details about his ideas for this eco-paradise, saying that Tesla would provide rides on tiny electric boats produced by the manufacturer. To the question if Musk would rent out Tesla kayaks, the billionaire replied, Maybe little electric Tesla boats with retro-futuristic Victorian design. To kick off the plans, Tesla has applied to the city of Austin for permission to extend the Giga Texas production area. Luckily for the company, if the government approves the proposal, Giga Texas production facility would be expanded to 280 acres or 12,196,800 square feet in total floor space. This will be a 12 acre or 500k square foot extension. Tesla's permission proposal highlights the 500,000 square foot expansion of Giga Texas for the ecological utopia. This wouldn't be the first time Tesla is applying for such permission. They did something similar in June to extend the footprint area of Giga Texas by 500k square feet. However, the application stated that Tesla will need these extra assembly lines when production ramps up at the facility, since the present ones will be fully filled in all shifts. All above ground pipe and subsurface plumbing, General Assembly 2 and 3 enlargement, 500,000 square foot, according to the permission application's description. Some conflicting claims also emerged about Giga Texas and its daily production ramp up. Manufacturing was somewhere between 2,000 and 5,000 Model Y units per week. In the past, Tesla has formally acknowledged such figures by a tweet, as it did last week with Giga Berlin Manufacturing. However, the manufacturer did divulge some of this information during its recent earnings call on the subject. During the earnings call, Musk said that the company will reach 1,000 vehicles per week in a couple of months. The company is continuing to scale up output even as it launches this expansion project. Many elements of the current Model Y manufacturing facility and adjacent region are still being built. The new 500,000 square foot extension will undoubtedly aid the automaker's continued output growth. In an online interview, Musk recently said that Giga Texas and Giga Berlin are gigantic money furnaces, adding that Berlin and Austin are losing billions of dollars right now. Tesla has complained about the bottleneck caused by its new 4,680 battery cells and structural battery pack. 
we also know that the business is producing Model Y long-range cars with 2,170 cells to avoid bottlenecks. Gigafactory Texas is one of the planet's largest factories, not only because Tesla wants high-volume manufacturing at the facility, but also because the car maker wants to be vertically integrated down to on-site battery cell manufacture. Tesla has increased the output of 4,680 cells at the site and is even constructing a cathode processing division on the same plot of land. But how about the ultimate goal of building a new and unique city? Musk, also the CEO of SpaceX, has long dreamed of building a metropolis on Mars. It would be self-sustaining, home to one million people, and help mankind evolve into a multi-planet species. This project is Musk's most ambitious objective, and it might keep him busy for the next three decades. It would be a metropolis for everyone, not only scientists and researchers. People who want to go to Mars might get a loan to pay for their travel. In turn, they would be able to pay off their loans by working in everything from iron foundries to pizzerias after they arrive. Musk said at a 2016 conference that labor shortages will persist for a long time. Interestingly, this city would be able to govern itself on its own terms. Musk has compiled a list of why mankind might wish to extend into the cosmos. One reoccurring motif is that a life-ending calamity on Earth might end mankind. Yet, civilization could go on if it can establish a base on a new planet like Mars. Earth is 4.5 billion years old, yet life is still not multiplanetary, and it is highly unknown how much time remains, Musk tweeted back then. Aside from climate change, an unexpected asteroid attack might potentially annihilate civilization. Another reason, he said, is that it gives people a purpose to live. There are so many things that make people unhappy or despondent about the future, but I believe being a space-faring civilization is one of those things that gets you thrilled about the future. Musk also said that we should expand since we are life's guardians, the species that we love cannot construct spacecraft, but we can, and we can bring them with us. Another reason for returning was that mankind has scarcely traveled into space since the moon's landings. It's been over half a century since humans last walked on the moon. That's too lengthy. We need to return to the moon and establish a permanent base again, a large, permanently populated facility on the moon and then, to become a spacefaring society, a multi-planet species, create a metropolis on Mars. And Elon Musk plans to deploy two cargo ships to Mars as early as before the end of 2022. In 2024, it would deploy four ships, two crewed ships, and two cargo ships to the following closest approach. However, Musk said on Twitter that a more reasonable time frame for mankind to see the first people on Mars would be 2029. It's also plausible that Musk was referring to the 1969 moon landing, putting a 60-year gap between the two achievements. Mars and Earth orbit each other once every 26 months. At this point, the distance between the two is about 33.9 million miles. Musk tweeted that it's conceivable to build a self-sustaining settlement on Mars by 2050 if we start in five years and take 10 orbital synchronizations construction of the city would take at least 22 years, with 26 months between synchronizations. Musk has set an aim of constructing a self-sustaining Mars colony of 1 million people by 2050. Musk would turn 79 years old that year. Since SpaceX is yet to conduct its maiden orbital flight with the Starship, it is doubtful that the first cargo ships will be launched this year. If SpaceX's plans are adjusted to a more realistic late 2020s timeframe, Musk may be able to fulfill his target. Elon projected that constructing a self-sustaining metropolis on Mars would need around 1 million tons of cargo. Assuming that the cost of transporting cargo to Mars with the next Starship is $100,000 per ton, a Mars city would cost about $100 billion. Musk estimates that it will cost no more than $10 trillion. However, SpaceX may not be satisfied with just one city. The goal is to start with an outpost and build into a more extensive base, not simply as there are in Antarctica, but actually a hamlet, a town, expanding into a city, and eventually many cities on Mars. Musk seems pretty determined and excited about building a city on Mars, but we may end up seeing the first version of Elon Musk's new city in Austin, Texas right next to Giga Texas. Let's wait and see how it will go. And thanks for watching.